Well, did you know August is National Immunization Awareness Month? Doctors say it's important to keep your kids vaccinated, especially now they are back to school. They're more exposed to germs and bacteria. So joining me now to tell you how you can keep your kids healthy is Dr. Constantine George. Thank you so much for joining us. This Good morning. morning. Thanks for having us on. So tell us a little bit more about vaccines and, you know, how are vaccines so important? Why is it so important, especially as kids head back to school? Correct. So the Centers for Disease Control starting in August has the National Immunization Awareness Month and so what they try to promote to physicians but also to the lay people the importance of vaccines we still unfortunately encounter deadly disorders mm -hmm. you heard about recent exposure on the strip to measles mumps rubella so diphtheria tetanus pertussis common terms that we hear about yet simply put we have vaccines that we can administer to reduce the incidence of these infections from infecting large swaths of people right, and we also have this thing called back to school plague I don't know if everybody is familiar with that so we talk about back to school plague like which kinds of diseases are we talking about and how do you prevent that? So notoriously what we see in the pediatric setting is when school starts, give or take a few weeks, you start having kids come in with increased incidence of multiple things, colds and flu, mm -hmm. strep throat, diarrhea, vomiting. Those are the common top four or five things we see in a practice such as mine. Right. And we're talking about cold and flu. I think that's two of the most commonly, I guess, people get confused by, do I have a cold? Do I have a flu? How do you know uh, what kind of a disease or virus your kids have? So simply put, they're both viral infections. With the cold, you get more upper respiratory issues, runny nose, coughing, congestion, not so much the fevers and the body aches. Whereas with the flu, mm -hmm. you get more predominantly the body aches, the fatigue, the fevers. You still can get runny nose and congestion. It's just not as predominant as with the cold, obviously with the flu, it's more deadly. It can lead to pneumonia and death. That's why we get so worried about it. So immunizations are important. Right, and aside from immunizations, what is best way to keep your kids healthy? Make sure they don't get the back to school plague. And it's tough with that demographic. The important thing is hand washing constantly. If you sneeze or cough, cover your nose, cover your mouth, but try telling a three and a four year old, wash your hand in school all the time. So vaccines are predominantly the most important method, but teaching your kids about hygiene, that's the important thing. And there's one thing that I learned today, the most, I guess, the dirtiest part of a school is the water fountain. Water fountain. And why is right. that? Kids are on it. They're touching it. Their mouths go on it. Their noses are near it. So it's just a, it's an area where a lot of bacteria grow. And plus, it's very humid. It's very moist. It's water, obviously. Prime environment for viral and bacterial growth. That's why hand washing, proper hand washing really goes a long, a long way. way, correct. All right, well, thank you so much for your time this morning. We always appreciate you coming down here. And of course, we're going to be right back after this break.